what's up guys welcome back to the channel my name is Roy Jones from Pro Zero Racing listen um, I've been a bit quiet on the western front western front being YouTube um, for those of you who do follow us on social media you'll have seen that um, the start of the year didn't really go to plan and neither did the first race so this video is purely just to catch all you up on YouTube what's actually happened and what went wrong um, so I apologize that it's a bit here there and everywhere but um, I just want to sort of give you an idea of the events leading up to what happened and then what actually happened and then an explanation of what happened as well so um yeah thanks for watching enjoy the video and um <laughs> oh the joys Silverstone, baby. And we're fucking late. As fucking always. Hi, hey, man. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a bit of a, a weird off season for us. We haven't. We've done lots, but we haven't actually done any videos of it. Um, so, right now, I'm at Silverstone for the uh, first round of the Modified Ford series. And. Um, yeah, it's been a busy winter, and I did film bits and bobs, but do you know what? I ain't going to lie, I had very little motivation this winter. Um, so, to put into perspective, we've done splitter on the car, fuel cell in the back for Spa this year, um, and we've gone to like tubular rose jointed arms and stuff, but um, it was a bit of a mad rush yesterday to get here. I uh, didn't leave work until about 7 o'clock because we'd had the wrap finished off yesterday. So that's finally done. I'll go and show you the car now. And um, yeah, it's um, we've been out and done qualifying already. We did all right. It's wet here. I did a 239.2 uh, on the full Silverstone GP circuit. So we're P5 overall for race one this afternoon. And uh, unfortunately, by the looks of it, I think we may be getting something that we don't want. But touch it stays as it is because it's kind of patchy but drying out so let's go have a look at the car John is pushing under boys ready to go racing then in the modified Ford series for 2023 Waiting for those red lights to go out. No overtaking until that point. Couple of them getting a little bit over eager further back. Now the lights go out. And a good start made by Rory Jost there. And the pit forward focus further back. One car getting a bit sideways uh, on the damper side of the road. Where there is perhaps a bit of moisture lingering on the circuit. But that looked as though the Steven Scott to Woody. Who got the lead through the first quarter. So from the outside of row one. Even with a rolling start. There was perhaps a small advantage to that uh, grippier side of the road. Uh, so therefore, it is going to be the Sierra that leads them through Maggots and Beckett for the first time. The leading few forming a bit of a, an orderly queue, but behind them, it's getting very, very congested indeed. As different cars excelling at different parts of the track. That's a bit of a tight squeeze through Maggots and Beckett. Three wide very briefly uh, at the apex there, but they all just about avoided contact, I think. One of the uh, Fiestas there making some good ground. I think that's Kester Cook, number 93, uh, that has broken through into second place, yes it is, ahead of the pole sitter Simon Light, where he just goes through the pink uh, for focus as well. And uh, as they work their way around Stoke Corner, past the wing, and there's contact, and Jose is on the grass, and oh yes, into the barriers he goes, Rory Jose with damage to the left-hand side of the focus, there was a bit of a squeeze coming out of Stoke Corner, the front right wheel has uh, come adrift of the car as well, and that is a real shame.
So this is where it starts to go terribly wrong. Um, as you'll see in a second, the back end steps out to me on the left hand side and um, I start going full drifting through the corner. Okay, so there's the first part of the slide. Now, as you can see, we're on the wrong side of the kerb, the wrong side of this green stripe. The circuit is um, is cold, but it's dry. On the left-hand side of here, however, it is damp, and there's also a patch of dry just coming up below my rear, where my rear-view mirror is on the left-hand side. Um, this now, coming onto this damp, um, reintroduces the slide again. So I'm onto a second part of the slide, um, and what you'll see happen is as I hit this dry patch, it fires me over onto the other side of the circuit. So we've just been shot now onto the circuit and we're about to come back over. Um, Lloyd Jameson is just to our right hand side in an escort Cosworth and in the next, as we get towards the other side of the circuit, we're then actually about a foot away from the front bumper of Josh Payton in his Mark II Cortina. Um, so... At this point, I what was going through my head was that I was actually just about to save this. Now, the only issue is is that I can see how quickly I'm going from the dash and then also how quickly the grass is coming towards me. And I know once I'm on the grass, uh, I ain't going to be able to turn at all. Um, so then, let's see if those keen-eyed viewers amongst us can see what the issue is here um, within the car. Now... The only problem with grass is when it's wet like this, you get no feedback through the wheel. So I had no idea at this moment in time where the hell the tyres were in, in relation to the steering wheel. Um, I can see I'm kind of going straight, so I know I'm around that point with the steering wheel. However, um, a little bit further on in, this, in a second, just before the impact, you'll see the angle of the steering wheel and where I'm actually turning. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's have a look at this then, shall we? So we're literally about to have the impact in this screenshot that you're seeing here. Now, I was really lucky because this is the end part of the Armco. And as you can see from the screenshot now, it's a little bit better. They are tyres. Um, so they take literally all of the force out of, this, um, out of this hitting of the wall. Now, the only problem is, is that it's sucked in the front right hand side of the car. Um, and what that ends up doing is literally ripping the whole suspension out the front hand right hand side front right hand side of the car literally pulls everything out of the front right uh, which is what sends me to the spin now this was probably my saving grace uh, admittedly I didn't want to have a crash however this was the saving grace part due to the fact of that took all of the energy out of the impact and as it spins me um, obviously that takes some more energy out and I stopped pretty briefly after that um, now, I do feel sorry because there's a set of balloon cones uh, on the entrance to the pit lane and I'm pretty certain they have um, just joined Starlink in, um, in, the, uh, in the atmosphere somewhere. Um, so, RIP cones. Now, as you can see, I'm going to great lengths here to see who's been chasing me. Obviously, we've got Dave Matthias there in his um, SAF COS and uh, Craig Rayner in his Mark II, the yellow Mark II there. Um, you can see from here how far, at the minute, I've come from the wall since the impact. Um, we hit the wall at about 85 miles an hour, um, or glanced the wall, I should say. I didn't really hit the wall, I glanced it. Um, this is halfway through the complete uh, pirouette that I end up doing. Um, 10 out of 10 for points. Um, so, yeah. Uh, at this point, obviously, I know that the impacts happen. I don't know that the wheels come off the car yet. I'll find that out momentarily. So it's at this point now that I realise the wheels no longer attach to the car uh, and I don't quite realise how bad the damage is until I get out. Um, also a nice view of um, James Allen's Mark II Focus RS just out the, um, just out the front window there. Um, yeah, so this is where uh, I kind of come a, a little bit worried because uh, I've got my foot on the brakes and nothing's happening. Um, and this is obviously because the caliper and the disc and everything else along with it is now no longer attached to the car. Um, so there's just brake fluid being squirted everywhere. Um, yeah, fun times. Oh, 
and luckily there I am coming to a complete stop. Uh, got my arm out the window to show the master rules that I've not turned myself into a, into a vegetable, um, and that I'm safe and that I am alive. So um, yeah, quite an expensive one. Um, did quite a lot of damage to the car, which we'll um, we'll show you now. Now I've never had to do a walk of shame before, but that is one very distraught, very pissed off Rory. If I did ever see one, as you'll tell from the helmet bashing. Now. <laughs> So we're doing the walk of shame. Yeah. Oh dear. I'm gonna go and have a look. I mean, I've already had a look at it, but the video hasn't had a look at it. And let's put it this way, it isn't a pretty sight for what seemed like not too much of a bad smash. Yeah, in fact, well, I'm saying this right. I'm over dramatising this. You'll see, it ain't that bad. Right. There you go. I don't know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in it. So, um, it ripped the shaft out, broke the retainer for the bottom pin, and just pulled everything out. Caught a bit of the sill, um, dragged a little bit down the side of the car. For some reason, this exhaust tip's sound, but the exhaust tip on the other side is absolutely trashed. Um, so, I need a power steering pump, shaft, anti roll bar because it's bent the crap out of it. Um, lower arms and I've got new ones anyway uh, in and out of tie rod maybe a rack I don't know how bad it is yet um, and then a little bit of bodywork down the bottom there just to pull that back out again straighten out the mounting points for the bumper and then obviously a wing a bumper uh, I'd probably paint on the door and maybe a new quarter from AirTech but yeah <laughs> no, I think it just needs a. I think it'll just need an an, an outer. <laughs> Fuck me, man! I've only just replaced that one as well. Yep. Send her a bit too hard, boys. Yeah. And the, for some reason, the split air held up to it, but didn't do any damage. So I can't understand, mate. That's what I can't grasp. Is how it's not caught a splitter. Weird. Really weird. But yeah. Um. Show you that in a minute. I think the exhaust dug into, yeah, it did. It dug into the ground, mate. It's a shame because we just had that fucker done. It's the one I was waiting for. I'm gonna have to try and bend that back, Liam, because it's catching on the tyre. And wheel trashed. That's why it came off the lower arm, it's probably a saving grace because you can just switch the bottoms out. And one of, those, one of the shocks that I was flipping waiting for for God knows how long. Um, and now it's trash. So another shock for the front. Um, Caliper's disc are probably okay. Um, and a brake line and an ABS cable, which snapped that pretty clean to be fair. So yeah, not what we wanted. But it's racing at the end of the day. This is the this is the thing that I have to accept that I put myself in this position, um, and it is what it is. So yeah, not only wanted to end the weekend, but it is um, the situation that we've been dealt. So we'll we'll just take it as is. We're currently waiting for them to high ab it, aren't we, mate? Yeah. Well, we've been waiting all afternoon <laughs> for them to come and high ab the the car onto the truck. But yeah, no, it's. Um, it is what it is. Um, nice, short, sweet video for you, but yeah. Thanks for watching. And I'll, uh, <laughs> oh God, I'll catch you with the rebuild videos. <laughs> Joys, tear up. <laughs>